Today on the channel, we join the Crusade with the Toxic Crusaders Super 7 Ultimate Edition, Toxy. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got our first go around the sun with the brand new Super 7 Ultimate Toxic Crusaders line with Toxie. But for all your Super 7 needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10% on all in stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. And the Toxic Crusaders, or as I usually say, the Toxic Avenger. Of course, the Toxic Crusaders being the kids' toy line and animated television series. The Toxic Avenger being the trauma film from the 80s. And honestly, I always prefer and always will prefer the Toxic Avenger trauma films. Big fan of those movies as a little kid. I remember watching them on USA, I think USA Up All Night, things like that. Of course, uh, cable television in the 80s. Love, love the Toxic Avengers movies. Uh, the first one is the holy grail of the Toxic Avengers. The second one loses its way a little bit. They're all worth a watch at least one time. At least one time. What is it, the third one or the fourth one that has Lemmy in it? So you can't beat it when Lemmy's in a movie. And he's in quite a few trauma movies for those trauma historians out there. But the Toxic Crusaders is an interesting one. It was a cartoon that came about, and like I said, a toy line. It was in the late 80s, early 90s probably. Uh, and honestly, for me, I was like, this is not for me. This is not for me at all. I remember watching the debut episode and said, this is so bad. And I was expecting the Toxic Avengers, that grittiness, which really as a kid, you shouldn't expect that in a kid's cartoon. But anyways, it was an interesting way in a long line of toy lines over the years or movies as well. You get the Demolition Man figures, the RoboCop figures, aimed at kids for a hard R movie, especially like the Toxic Avenger. That's an R-rated movie. Shouldn't really be for kids, but somehow in the grand scheme of things, we got toy lines, things like that. And I do remember the toy line at shelves, looking at them and being like, nope, not for me. Same way I looked at the Kenner Swamp Thing figures around the same time, saying, nope, not for me, because I loved the Swamp Thing movies of the 80s. It just wasn't representing what I wanted for. So now, long way to get here. Here we are 20, 30 years later, whatever it's been. I have a little bit of nostalgia for things like this, the Kenner Swamp Thing figures, because I remember seeing them all the time at the KB toy stores, the Targets, you know, that kind of stuff. And now it's like, I didn't like them back then, but now I kind of have a weird affection for them. And Toxic Avenger, like I said, I do love. So I was very interested to see how this line is going to go. By no means am I an expert on the uh, cartoon animated series, so some of these characters I won't know. But this one, of course, being Toxie, or the Toxic Avenger as I know him, this one we know a little bit about, I would say, and we got some comparisons to do later on in this video. But speaking of this video, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And you let me know if you're in the same boat. Did you come into it as the Toxic Crusaders first, or were you old school seeing the trauma movie, this being a little bit of a disappointment in some ways, because you were looking for that gritty nature, which honestly would have never happened. But there it is, Toxic Crusaders, very fun, colorful packaging, just screams 90s is what this does. It was all about the ooze and the radiation, things like that back in the day, of course. Toxic Crusaders on the front, I might slip up, call it Toxic Avengers, you know how that goes. But definitely interesting slip case here. It does say, as seen on screen up here at the top. Then we get the usual slip case, of course, for Super 7. See you later. Goodbye. Super 7, there's old Toxie looking only like a Toxie could look if he was a Super 7 Ultimate. And a lot of reuse, of course, from the other Toxic Crusaders, Avenger figures we've had in the past. That Red Rage Toxie, one of my favorite Super 7 Ultimates, one of the sleeper Ultimates over the last couple of years. We'll compare it to that one later on in this video. But big wubble, wi bubble window, very similar to the Super 7 stuff. Toxic Crusaders logo, all that kind of stuff. On the back, got a little bit of a blurb, not a whole lot going on here. Warning, this package contains Toxy, the likable, lumpy-headed hero. Toxic Crusaders. So without further ado, let's get old Toxy out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about. There's that background there, nothing too crazy. Off to the side. See you later. And there he is, old Toxie, ready to go, ready to perform, ready to be reviewed is what he is right here. 
And we're locked in at the waist. Oh, it's a tight lock-in, too. We got a tight one around the waist. There we go. I got that. All right, let's pop out all these accessories. We got all the hands, all the usual stuff we're accustomed to with these Super 7 Ultimates. And like I said, a lot of rehash, a lot of reuse from uh, the Red Rage Toxie, the original Toxie we got. Uh, but this one just has a little bit more cartoon colors, of course, and that makes sense, really. Uh, once again, at the end of the old day there. There's Toxie. Can I get him out? Can I get him out? All right, and then this flag kind of locked in there a little bit. There we go. All right, everything's out of the package. See you later. Off to the side. Goodbye. And let's break this one down here. And let's go in uh, to all the accessories. Then we'll dive into the heads, things like that. Uh, we'll get down to it here. So now we got extra hands. So he does have two gripping hands right out of the package. He's ready to grip anything he needs to, like his trusty mop if he needs to. We got the splayed out hands going on. Two splayed out hands looking good right there. And then we got two Fists of Fury. Every superhero and villain, for that matter, basically every action figure, should have Fist. And he's got two Fists of Fury here. So playing all the hits in the hand department here. You can't have Toxie, Avenger, or Crusader without his trusty mop. Of course, his weapon of choice. And he's a proud American, as we do know. He's got the American flag on here. Got the orange broom handle going on. And then you got the mop here with the green kind of slime stuff going on there. Uh, looking really good. Looking really good there. Uh, but it is a mop at the end of the day. So you can clean up or you can fight crime with it. Choose your own mop adventure. We've never had that before on the channel. We do get his Toxic Crusader, uh, I guess, shield here. It's got like a pipe, very homemade feel to this one. He's got a pipe kind of as the handle. And then you got a garbage can lid there with some ooze and mutagen, things like that going there. And Toxic Crusaders promoting the, the, promoting the cartoon, promoting the toy line right there. Toxic Crusader is what it is there. So that's the shield. And we've seen these before in the past. These are colored a little bit differently, a little bit more green, oozy like. Uh, but basically, like uh, grenades is what these are. So we got three of these. These can clip onto the figure if need be. So do what you want with those grenades that can clip onto him. Now we dive into old Toxie here, and I guess we could talk about his little friend here. I forget this guy's name. I don't know if I ever knew this guy's name after all, but uh, definitely an interesting uh, little creature here, all in pink, like a Muppet of some kind. And it's uh, much like Polly with Shipwreck and G.I. Joe. Kind of just sits right up there next to his head. Plugs right into this satchel going on up there, the old bandolier there. So you can plug him in. But definitely cool looking. You can see the back of his mouth. You can see the tonsils in there, the teeth, the eyes. Uh, bright, bright pink color here. Def definitely cool for what it is. Uh, but once again, choose your own adventure, as we always say. You can put it on his shoulder if you want to or leave it off if you need to. Because to me, he wasn't in the movie, but this isn't about the movie. So there you go. Now we get down to Toxie here. We get the heads. First head, as they say, he's a lumpy-headed hero, and there's no doubt he's got lumpiness going on. Got all green color there. Got some nice white teeth showing. He's got two eyes. One eye is, like, jumping out of the socket. Uh, got a little bit of orange spore spots all over his head as well. Definitely looks like a friendly guy, but a face only a mother could love. Or his blind girlfriend, of course, his girlfriend in the show, in the movies, was blind. So she saw the beauty uh, behind the beast, I guess you could say, in some ways. Now we get another head here. We get the same kind of eyes going all over the place. Not as happy-go-lucky uh, Toxie on this one. He's got a little bit more lumps going on in the head. His eyes even out a little bit more. And he's kind of gritting his teeth a little bit. So maybe it's Toxie in action. He's definitely not all smiles like the first head, that is for sure. And then the final head here, he does got the bandana going on. He's gritting his teeth once again. Very similar to the last head, a little bit of lumps going there. But a very Rambo-esque headband, or even Ninja Turtles in, in a little bit of a way. But more Rambo, an orange headband up there at top, depending how you like your Toxie. As usual, choose your own Toxie adventure. Now we get the old Toxic Crusader out of the package here. And man, he looks good. He's got a lot of different uh, feels to him. He's got bumps raised all over his body. So it really feels like you're uh, reading Braille is almost what it feels like with him. But he's got lumps throughout. Some are just green color. Some are kind of that orange color we talked about on his head. Definitely an interesting body mold. Uh, this is one of those molds you're not going to get use of anywhere else besides Toxie. And that's why we've seen so many versions of this Toxie from Super 7. Got to get the most out of your molds, as we do say. Articulation, arm goes all the way around. Do you get a bicep cut? Single jointed elbows, extremely tight elbows, but they are there. Hands removable, hands back, forth, side to side, as we do say. Got the old ab crunch in the middle. No traditional waist on this guy. Or it's really, really tight, but it seems to be... Oh, no waste on this guy, or at least it's very tight. I'm not sure. I think no waste. Uh, big old Toxy splits if you need to do them. Single jointed knees, bund right there. Of course, you get the boot cut. 
ankles back force side to side does he fit on a ringside collectible stand that's always a good test make sure you get the mattel stands there it is use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent, as we always do say but looking at this a little bit more he's got a big uh i want to say belt but it's technically a tutu if you're familiar with the movie and the cartoon it is a tutu in the movie it was like a pink tutu he wore uh this is kind of a brownish color tutu around here but Kind of looks like a tutu, kind of doesn't. So if you're not familiar with the character, you might just think it's a weird kind of belt going there. He's got his uh, tank top going on, all kinds of beaten up and holes in it, all kinds of stuff. Very on brand. Same with the jeans, all kind of tore up, ripped up. And even down to his shoes, he's got his feet and kind of uh, coming out of the shoes a little bit is what he's got there. A little cut up and everything else. So definitely a guy that's seen some things. He's got his uh, bandolier, his uh, satchel over the top. We do have that. And of course, you can stick those grenades in there if you need to. You can also store his mop through the back, slides right there. So if you want him to hold it, he can. Or if you want to just store it on his back, you can put the old mop back there like so. So once again, we're choosing our own adventure. That is the theme of this video and a the theme of a lot of figures as we do know as well. But definitely an interesting one. Like I said, we've seen this version, this figure kind of released a few different times in the past. This time uh, in a more cartoon coloring going on here. And I'm not sure. I mean, like I said earlier, I'm very uh, nostalgic for the Toxic Crusader, which is kind of funny, which I only watched really one episode, maybe two, who knows. But very few episodes when I was a kid. I saw the toy line everywhere, though, and that was the way it was back in the 80s and 90s. The toy lines were everywhere to promote the animated series, and I didn't uh, resonate with me at the time, but now I think back to those trips to those stores, seeing these, just very, very cool, and I kind of think in my head, hey, these blend in really good with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who also, of course, have Ultimate Editions from Super 7, all in the kind of same scale universe, you could say, and that's my plan here. It's going to be a little sub-team, sub-line. I'm going to store with my Super 7 Ninja Turtles whenever that day comes that I finally get around to unboxing all those, but uh, definitely interesting. And I guess speaking of those Super 7 Turtles, I do have one unbox. This was, was at the New York Comic Con exclusive one, two years ago. What is time? Foot Soldier. It's the glow-in-the-dark uh, Foot Soldier here. So I got these guys kind of side-by-side. You can kind of see how they scale together. I think I need to put him on a stand. He does not want to stand for me. I'll stick him on a stand. Then he will. Then he's got no choice but to stand. So there you go. But a foot soldier there, you can kind of see that comparison. So they kind of work in the same universe a little bit. And that's kind of what I think of. Mutagen, toxic waste, all kind of goes together in some ways. And then we got the Red Rage Toxie. This is an all-timer figure. Absolutely love this figure. Entertainment Earth last year around uh, Christmas holiday season. He was down to like $12, $15, something like that. Just an absolute steal for this figure. Absolutely like this figure a whole lot. And then uh, you get your yin and yangs here. So similar but different at the same time. There's even another version of Toxic Avenger Crusader from before as well that I do not own in my collection. But for what this is, nostalgic purposes, very cool. Putting it with my turtles, kind of mix it in that universe. This works for me. This is an easy pass probably for a lot of people. I'm sure there's people out there that like the cartoon. There's probably a small window. It's not the most uh, remembered cartoon of all time, but there's got to be a huge amount of people that, of course, loved the action movie from Troma Studios back in the day. But how many of those people want this version? I don't know. It's an interesting one. I don't think this will be their biggest, most profitable line from Super 7, but it is a really cool, fun niche line. And man, I'm here for stuff like that. I always love stuff like that. So there it is. There's old Toxie from the Toxic Crusaders line. What are your guys' thoughts out there in YouTube land? You picking this one up? You passing? You playing the long game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to put the notification bell on. We got videos every single day, and we got more for you on Patreon, including much earlier access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, dog stuff, pizza stuff, you name it, all going on over the old Patreon channel. And Patreon going to be your best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget for social media, Sir Paul 64 on X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and Instagram. So for the Toxic Crusaders, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.